On one side of the river, Weirton, West Virginia, with 30,000 residents, many of whom work at Weirton Steel. On the other, Steubenville, Ohio, with a similar population, and Wheeling Steel, the major employer. And this is how they've been getting back and forth. The Fort Steuben Bridge, narrow, often closed for repair. And the Market Street Bridge, even older but well-maintained. It's easy to see why they're excited about today's dedication of the new Veterans Memorial Bridge. Steubenville attorney Nathan Stern is credited with keeping the momentum rolling for the bridge when it looked for a time as though it may never be built. The impossible dream is coming true. We're really seeing it, and I'm loving it. It boasts a unique cable stayed design with 320-foot tower, 800-foot cable stretching to shore. It features 3 million pounds of steel and 15,000 cubic yards of concrete, but did require an expensive retrofit to assure safety, and they'll be fighting in court for years over who caused that, the designer or the contractor. And today we're here to celebrate those people who had a dream and said, why not? And that's why this bridge is here. It is appropriate that we are opening this bridge today and celebrating the cooperation between the state of Ohio and the state of West Virginia, what it means in transportation and what it means in business for us all. Governors Caperton of West Virginia and Celeste of Ohio headed the program along with Senators Byrd and Rockefeller of West Virginia. Mother Nature actually stole the show, raining on most of the ceremony. Eventually the sun did come out. Eventually they cut the ribbon. And the bridge was officially open. The ceremony began in the rain, ended in the sun. But the big thing is when it was all over, a new bridge was finally available after 20 years of dreaming in the Weirton-Steubenville area. Wayne Van Dyne, KDKA Eyewitness News.